at the time coronary heart disease is present, there is usually a buildup of cholesterol in the different arteries in the heart. And it's the cholesterol buildup that causes a narrowing of those arteries, which causes some degree of obstruction to blood flow in the heart arteries. And this can result in chest pain. So coronary heart disease or coronary artery disease is caused by the buildup of cholesterol. This cholesterol usually is due to dietary factors. However, it can also be influenced by other factors such as genetics, age, family history, smoking, and physical activity. So coronary heart disease can be prevented if steps are taken early on. Healthy lifestyle with a healthy diet. So that means usually a Mediterranean diet with less uh, fried food, less oily food, uh, lots of exercise and preventing other risk factors such as being overweight, smoking, all of these can help prevent the buildup of cholesterol. Of course, there are some factors which cannot be prevented such as your genetic profiling or makeup and your family history. However, if other things are uh, done instead, such as the exercise and dietary measures, this can prevent coronary artery disease as far as possible. Symptoms with coronary artery disease depend upon the degree of narrowing in the coronary blood vessels. Uh, if the narrowing is minor, there can be pain in the chest with significant exertion. However, the greater the narrowing, the chest pain occurs more easily and with less and less exertion. So the main concern would be getting pain in the chest with activity. However, in certain cases, the pain can be non-typical in nature and pain can occur even at rest and at other occasions, even without significant activity. If you have any concerns that you are developing symptoms of coronary heart disease, such as pain in the chest on exertion or pain in the jaw or going down to the left arm on exertion, you should seek medical assistance. If there's a family history of coronary heart disease and a test has come back showing you have elevated cholesterol, this should be discussed with your medical provider. So really it's when you have symptoms of chest pain or discomfort when you are exerting yourself, you should seek medical assistance. It may be coronary heart disease or if there's a family history and you have concerns with your health. Just to also uh, remember that the pain is typically a heaviness or a dullness in the chest. However, as mentioned, there can be some non-typical types of pain, which can be sharp in nature or um, a kind of discomfort rather than a uh, heaviness or dullness. A number of tests uh, normally occur if somebody is suspected of having coronary heart disease. The basic tests include an ECG. This shows if there is any problem with the blood supply at rest. This is often not the case and you need some form of exercise test or stress test to better understand this. This can be in the form of an exercise test on the treadmill. And at the time the patient is hooked up to an ECG machine to see if there are any ECG changes which signify problems with the heart blood supply. In addition to this, we may wish to look at the heart arteries with a CT scan, or we may wish to do the stress test, but in the form of an MRI scan. Finally, if there is conclusive evidence of disease, we may wish to look at this in more detail by directly looking at the heart arteries, and that is done through a procedure called a coronary angiogram.